Yes, and Neil, one of the worst tornadoes ever in North Carolina was in late November back in the late 80s. So, I mean, this time of year, transition seasons can get really active. Now, as you look outside today, uh, you can see the visibility is great. And as we go through the day, we've had mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And you can see the visibility is just really good as we go toward the later frames. I'm not sure what happened with the camera there for a little while. But you can see a mountain ridge here back behind Pilot Mountain that we don't normally see on our camera. That's how good the visibility is that would be looking toward fancy gap and white top and Mount Rogers in that direction. And if you look over here, you can see some of the mountain ridges back behind Winston. That would be up around West Jefferson and back toward Boone and possibly even Grandfather Mountain. The visibility is unreal today. 42 degrees outside now, 46 our high today, 34 degrees our low. We did have just over a quarter of an inch of rain past midnight last night. Satellite radar shows everything is now nice and clear. Temperatures are in the low 40s with upper 30s already in Yakinville. Reedsville's 41. I just got in some video of people seeing snow in Reedsville last night. I'm going to have that ready for you coming up here a little bit later in the newscast. So stay tuned and you'll see the video of snow there last night. Outside satellite radar shows we're all in great shape now with high pressure and firm control. Another cold front's coming down. That's just going to reinforce the chilly air that we've got, but we will be staying dry. It's not going to be bringing any moisture. So as we go through the middle of the week, we stay quiet until the end of the week as well. So now we're into Saturday. And the European model shows Saturday being dry, but shows a system on Monday morning coming right up the coast. This is quite a potent looking system with a lot of rain for the beaches early next week. If you look at the American model, it's on that same system, but the timing's different and the location's a little bit different. It's bringing that moisture up here into the Piedmont on Sunday. So we got one putting rain over us, the other one putting it off just to, off the coast on Monday, but they're both looking at the same system. As we get closer, that's going to get fine-tuned and we'll have a better handle, but there's potential for wet weather on Sunday, if you believe the American model. 56 and 58 degrees expected at the beaches with sunshine for tomorrow. The only beach with the water temperature now at 60 is Wrightsville. Everybody else has fallen back into the 50s. Our mountains will be cold and 21 tonight after seeing some snow last night. 43 degrees expected tomorrow, 46 degrees Wednesday. In the Piedmont, our forecast is cold tonight. 36 degrees at 8 o'clock on our way down to a low. 26 and here's your extended forecast 49 degrees for tomorrow then as we go on into Wednesday we're 53 47 degrees Thursday 53 degrees Friday lows in the 20s for several nights all the way through Friday night Saturday morning then we get back above freezing for the first time Sunday night with a low of 40 and temperatures 40s to low 50s across the board chances of rain we're going to have to watch that real close for Sunday and Monday. With the models not in agreement, we're not going to go with a high chance yet. But as we get closer, we'll fine-tune that.